Earlier this year, Sutton Heritage, in collaboration with the National Lottery Heritage Fund, began a new contemporary collecting project called The Locals' Diaries. Its aim was to document life during lockdown. We now have a new exhibition at Whitehall and it shows the work created by a group called Sutton South Hello during this time. Sutton South Hello is a community group built up by local residents and councillors supported by a number of local organisations. It was started in response to awareness that South Sutton has a very high proportion of older people, many living alone. Hello Arts and Crafts is a development from this. Unable to meet during lockdown, they kept in touch and worked on themed art projects, a number of which are displayed here at Whitehall. The work on show reflects not just the range of projects that members of Sutton South Hello have been working on, but also the wide range of materials that they've been working with. So we have paintings on show. In the case here, there's this lovely patchwork cushion cover, botanical drawings, ceramics, and the collage. Here we have more of these lovely colourful works that were part of a Matisse cuttings project that they worked on together. Another one in the centre here, flanked by these lovely knitted um, Humpty Dumpty and the snug looking hat and the cushion and blanket underneath. This painting by Ken Card of St George and the Dragon was painted during lockdown and he describes in his own words, St George and the Dragon is a real departure from my normal style. I think it is due to lockdown and the necessity of being alone not seeing my family and having time to reflect. The background of this painting is sinister, like COVID-19 lurking all around us. I now feel ready to change my style and look more to the fantasy that lurks beneath the surface of everyday life. One of the lovely things about working with members of Sutton South Hello and finding out the thought behind the work that they've created is discovering the stories behind them. So with the turned work over there, um, Neil made the candles and the bells so that they could light the candles and ring the bells for his daughter's birthday. There are some very cute little miniature knitted hats here. I particularly like the cat in the middle. And this rather spectacular painted saw and just on the wall here, work by Adrienne called Lockdown Streams of Consciousness, which is made up of all the feelings, a mixed bag, as she says, that have been created by the situation in lockdown. This beautiful textile was made by Hannah Batowska, and it was inspired by a project called Through a Window. Not only has she managed to create the impression of leading and the glass there here, but beneath that there's embroidered butterflies and flowers and beautiful detail. This amazing model of the Leaning Tower of Pisa was made by Pasquale d'Italia. All made of recycled materials, it includes wallpaper samples, recycled wood and cardboard boxes. He even managed to create a mechanism during lockdown to enable the model to lean. 